Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, welcome back. Today's video, I will be talking about how I've been feeling since I haven't made a video in a while because I've been busy and also I've been doing a lot of different things like organizing our apartment, cleaning, and soon I will have to vacuum again. I know I vacuumed a couple days ago, but I feel like I have to vacuum again. Um, I haven't been doing much lately, just kind of hanging in there and my OBGYN appointment is August 26th. Um, that's my first appointment. I'm not sure what they're going to do because I kind of forgot. It's been like 10 years since I got pregnant, so it's kind of... I kind of forgot of what happens. And I just dyed my hair like burgundy or something like that because I wanted to cover the gray hairs and stuff in my hair. Um, I still feel nauseous, so that's why I still suck on the peppermint candies because the peppermint candies help me with my nauseousness so I don't like throw up or anything. Um, other than that, it's been good. Um, I haven't been doing a lot because... <sighs> I don't know, just haven't been doing that much. Just most of the time I'm tired and then I just kind of relax and oh, my cat is taking a nap or whatever. She is so cute. Um, not doing very much, just relaxing. Most of the time I'm really tired. Um, um, I what I'm 15 weeks pregnant now. Um, I started being 15 weeks pregnant yesterday, and then next Thursday I will be 16 weeks pregnant. Um, the baby's due date is February 6th. My birthday is January 30th. Um, I had a nurse tell me once that I may have the birth or have the baby on my birthday. I hope not, but you just never know, which is okay. Um, so I don't know. Um, but my pregnancy has been good. It's just, it's a lot to take in, I guess you can say. And I don't know, I've been tired a lot. Um, sometimes nauseous, like I said. Um, I try to take it easy and just like relax and stuff like that. But sometimes it's hard. Um, sometimes there's really nothing to do here in our apartment I mean I feel like when I tell my husband and I think my husband knows this too once my husband and I and our baby and our two cats move into a house it's probably going to be awful. it's going to probably be a lot better than living in a dumb apartment sorry I'm not really a big fan of apartments because <sighs> apartments are not really that big they're like pretty small um i just wish my fiance and i can actually not my fiance why do i keep on saying fiance i mean husband oh my gosh i'm still my husband and i got married in february but i'm still trying to get used to saying husband i keep sometimes saying fiance he's not my fiance anymore we got married in february so i mean husband not fiance oh, so annoying um, I mean, husband. <clears throat> it's going to be a lot different when my husband and I and the baby and our two cats when we move into a house because I feel like it's going to be more bedrooms. Um, it might be a little bit more busier because we have the baby and then we have the cats and 
um, my husband will be working, I'll be staying at home, being a stay-home mom, being with the animals and taking care of them, and taking care of our kids, and my husband and I, we want another kid, or another baby after this baby, but um, after this baby comes, we're gonna wait till he or she turns one years old, and then we're gonna have another baby. Um, I really want a girl this time. I Hopefully it's just not mean to say, but I want a girl this time because I already had a boy. And I'm really hoping that since now that I'm in second trimester, that my nauseousness will go away. But I try not to think about the nauseousness because I feel like if I think about the nauseousness, I feel like it makes it worse. So I try to think of other things besides feeling like thinking about feeling nauseous all the time. Um, it's been good. Um, I took a nice nap today because I was really, really tired. Um, but I'm doing okay. It's just like, I don't know. A lot of things bothered me yesterday and I was pretty upset. I mean, my husband doesn't know, well he knows, but he doesn't like know no, like how upsetting things can be for me. Like my mom decided to cut ties two years ago and I thought it wouldn't really bother me as much. But yesterday it really hit me hard because I don't know, it's, it's upsetting. Like I wanted my friend and family to be at the wedding and I'm going to be sad if it's going to be hard to show tears coming down my face once my kids, my kids grow up and then they watch our wedding video of my husband and I getting married and seeing the video of, of my husband's family and friends there. But my family and friends weren't at the wedding because we decided to move the wedding to a different state to have it because my mom decided to cut ties with my husband and I two years ago and it still hurts me. I wish things could have been a little bit more better. It's just not fair and yesterday I was all choked up and crying because I don't know, you like when you have a wedding you figure each of your sides of your wedding should be your family and friends. The wife's family and friends, the husband's family and friends. It just wasn't fair because my family and friends weren't there. And it's not because my friends couldn't go. It's just that we had it at a different state because I didn't want my mom, like at that time, my mom and I weren't that close anymore because she decided to cut ties and I didn't want my mom to I didn't want my mom to like for us to have the wedding and then have my mom wreck the wedding or something like that so that's why we moved it to somewhere else and to this day I really miss her like no one can actually tell or know how I feel inside. It really wrecks me. Like, I thought my mom would always be there for the rest of my life. She was there since I was a kid and and was there when I was born. And I just don't understand what happened. I don't know if it was upsetting her that I got to move out of my parents' house. And when I lived with my parents, I gave my mom rent money all the time. It wasn't much, but it was something. And I don't know if she's upset with that or maybe she upset because I grew up too fast or something or I wanted to move out so fast because I knew my parents weren't going to be around forever. And I'm like, well, I don't know. And then sometimes I miss my parents' house. I miss living there. I miss my old bedroom. I miss like decorating my room. I miss having a job. 
I miss like to my parents house I had a job at the time and it was like 20 25 minutes away I walk from my parents house to my job and then sometimes when I got off of work I would walk from my job from my job to my parents house and I don't know it was a nice exercise it was a nice walk I don't know sometimes I miss living in my hometown because I miss my hometown because I lived there all my life and I have like so many memories and there's a park across the street from my parents house there's then there's a park cross like about two three blocks away then there's about um another park about like four or five six blocks away I mean there's like three parks that I know of and I went there since I was a kid I always went there it's just weird and then when I go back there to visit or whatever it's different and weird to be there because I haven't been there or lived there for a long time I haven't lived in my hometown since like three four years and it's different sometimes I wish my childhood didn't go so fast or my teen years but what my mom did I don't know it was really hurtful and it's sad because I can't I feel like I want to get her something for her birthday and Mother's Day but I can't because one of my mom's friends told me that she didn't want anything and I feel bad because I usually like when I did have a job and I lived with my parents, I'd always get my parents something for Christmas, for birthdays, father, father and mother, this Mother's Day. And I'd get my sister and brother something for birthdays and Christmas. I just miss certain things in my life. Wishing things didn't have to change so much. But it's sad to actually know that your childhood is gone. And when things happen, it's hard to just move on. Like you want to, like you don't want to really just move on from it, but it hurts. Okay, let's not start fighting, guys. I'm doing my YouTube video. The cats are fighting again, like always. I hate when they do. Okay, stop. Simba, stop. I don't know. Sorry, guys. Um, but things always... I don't know. Things are hard. I'm just watching Simba being a weirdo. But it hurts that my mom couldn't just be in our lives. And I don't know, what will I tell my husband and our kids when they grow up a little bit and they kind of understand what are they going to ask me? How come my friends and family wasn't at the wedding? Or what are they going to say when they say, how come your mom doesn't want to see us? Then I'll have to explain to them what happened. And that's going to be really hard on me because without even crying, because I don't know, I just thought my mom would always be around. And she cut ties for a reason, I don't know why. And I thought it was because of me. But my husband said it's not because of me. It's because she decided to. I mean, I didn't want my mom to just get up and leave. If there was an, a problem or an issue, I would... I would want my mom to talk about it with me 
but she decided just to leave. And that's why last night I was thinking about her and I was crying because I miss her and there's days when I don't miss her and I feel like I thought after a while I wouldn't I wouldn't miss her anymore because she did this but I feel like I'll always feel this way and I still miss my grandparents I wish I could see them but they're gone and I wish I could see my cats that passed away a long time ago and the dogs that that my parents used to have they passed away a long time ago and my friend Karen that passed away from breast cancer. There's so many people in my life that I miss and it's hard to not miss them. And I also miss the friends and coworkers that I used to work with. They passed away before Christmas and I used to love Christmas a lot, but I don't know. I feel like Christmas isn't the same like it used to be years ago. It changed a lot and I kind of wish Christmas could stay the same always, but it changed a lot. Some of my uncles and aunts aren't around anymore. My grandparents are both gone on each side. My grandparents are gone on my dad's side, and my grandparents are gone on my mom's side. And, I don't know, Christmas is hard. And I'm just hoping... I don't know, it's a hard thing. And I hate missing people that aren't there when I feel like they should be there, but they're not. They're gone forever. You can pray for them, you can think of them, but it's not the same. Like you want them to be there and they probably want to be there too, but that's just life and it's hard. And sometimes life is hard. Life is not always going to be candies and cupcakes and everything nice and happy times you're gonna have moments in your life that you might be mad about something or sad about something or you might be happy about something I just can't wait till my husband and I know the gender of the baby which I can't find I can't wait to find out I'm really really excited I hope it's a girl, really hope it's a girl, because I really want a girl really bad. I want to show her the love and care that I love her and stuff like that. The love that I want to give to my daughter that my mom never gave me. And I want to show her that um, I will be a good mom and that I would, when my, when my daughter grows up, that I will never cut ties with her for anything. Because, I don't know, it's like, doesn't my, didn't my mom had, have any feelings at all of how she decided just to cut ties? I mean, how does she sleep at night knowing that she did that? I mean, does she sleep at all? It's just that I don't understand. Like, I thought she would eventually contact me and apologize and want to talk to me. But then again, I don't know. I do miss my mom, and I feel like sometimes I shouldn't, but it's because I miss her and I love her still because she's my mom. And... I don't know. I can forgive people and forget. And I think that's what God wants me to do. Forgive and forget. And that's what, that's probably, probably why I'm a good person. Because if someone does me wrong, it depends on what they did.
but I forgive my mom whatever happened and I still love her I still miss her I pray for her I just hope that there's gonna be a time in her life that she'll she'll change and come back but until then I will continue thinking about her and praying for her because I still love my mom and I still miss her a whole bunch. I really want her to be in my life because it's important and I want my husband, our kids to know her and It was just a hard day yesterday. I just wish she never did what she did. I just feel like, does she feel any kind of sadness of what she did or no? But then I don't really know. I haven't talked to her since 2022, but I do miss her and I think about her a lot. So, thanks guys for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time in my next video. Bye.